How you doing guys? Welcome back to another Medic Mind video. My name is Harry and today we're talking about the GAMSAT. What is this exam? And what are the important details that you need to know if you're thinking about sitting it? We're going to cover things like the format, the costs involved, the locations where you can sit this exam, and of course the results. What do they mean for you? And what are the UK medical schools that use this exam as part of their entry criteria? So what is the GAMSAT? The GAMSAT is the Graduate Medical School Admissions Test used by a number of medical schools in the UK as part of their entry criteria. This is an aptitude test sat twice a year, once in March and once in September. The results of this exam are valid for two years and you're also able to sit this exam as many times as you want, which is one of the big benefits to this exam. What is the structure of this exam? The GAMSAT is a five hour and 25 minute exam including reading time, which is 21 minutes. And this is sat over three sections. The first section is reasoning in humanities and social science. This section consists of 62 multiple choice questions, including eight minutes of reading time and 92 minutes of writing time, totaling 100 minutes for this section. This will look at things like conceptual thinking, looking at ideas such as subjective versus objective, implicit, explicit, and the idea is to interpret and understand different social and cultural ideas through things like poems, written passages, and even cartoons. Section two is written communication. This section has two questions. You have five minutes of reading time and 60 minutes of writing time. You have two written tasks of which you should spend about 30 minutes on each. The idea of this section is to assess the quality of your thinking about a certain concept and also then your ability to articulate what you want to say using good language. It's not so much about the correctness of what you're trying to convey. You will have two tasks, the first of which will involve a soci socio-cultural idea and the second will be personal social issues. You will be given a number of quotes or statements and asked to essentially frame your essay around one of one or more of those ideas that you've been presented with, often on a common theme. Section three is reasoning in biological and physical sciences. Now this section is the most broad and involves a significant amount of preparation. It is 40% biology, 40% chemistry and 20% physics. It involves 75 questions. You have eight minutes of reading time and 142 minutes of writing time, totaling 150 minutes. This will really involve a large variety of questions, including graphs, tables, diagrams, different things involving deducing different concepts. This section really looks at your ability to problem solve, to look at concepts from different angles, to interpret, evaluate, and extrapolate information typical of the science subjects. So now you know the format, you've sat the exam, and now you're gonna receive a score. How do I figure out what my score actually means? Well, first of all, GAMSAT or ACER, who are responsible for the GAMSAT, provide a basic formula for working out what your score is going to be. So essentially it is one times your score in section one, one times your score in section two, and two times your score in section three, all three of those added together and divided by four. That is your rough, rough average. Now, these are often scaled scores, which means it's not a direct, exact scoring of how you did in every single question because they use different things such as item response theory in order to evaluate and scale the scores so that the GAMSAT scores are consistent year in, year out. So now, when do I receive my result? So your results typically come out two months roughly after you've sat the exam. So if you sit the exam in September, you can expect to get it in roughly mid-November. And if you sit it in, in March, you can expect to see it in May. One other point I should make on that is the result itself. You will often get a percentile curve, which will give you an idea as to where your score sits relative to all the other cohort of applicants that sat it in the same sitting as you. Now, that is also important because sometimes people want to know what is the score that I need to attain? 
And these will vary year on year at certain schools, depending on how competitive it is and how many applicants have applied to that school. However, if you have a look at their individual scores online, you'll be able to get an idea as to what these schools required in previous years. Very important, location. Where are you going to sit this exam? So before 2020, this exam was a written paper exam and you had to go to a venue in order to sit it. That is still the case. You still have to present yourself at a venue. However, now it is done online. So you will be doing it on a computer. That is an important side note to remember when you're preparing for this exam. And one of the tips that will definitely come up in some of our other tip videos that you need to think about being able to type pretty quickly because it's no longer a case of writing quickly. That's especially important for your section two. But anyway, locations. This year, in 2022, the March sitting for the UK, there are three locations. There is Derry, Liverpool, and London. Now, previously there were more locations, and those will include, I believe, Sheffield, Birmingham, Cardiff, and Edinburgh. Those will be added in September. So in September, you can go to any of those locations in the UK. However, for March, as I say, it is confined to Derry, Liverpool, and London. So the cost of the exam. How much will this exam set you back? The standard rate if you register in time is £268. Now, there is also a late fee. So if you apply, for example, in the March sitting of 2022, your deadline would be the 31st of January. And so if you applied after that point, there is an additional late fee of £60. So make sure that you have a look and you're pretty certain you want to sit the exam in good time so that you don't set yourself back the extra money. Finally, what schools? will take this exam as part of their criteria. So there are five schools in particular that will use this exam. We have Nottingham, Liverpool, Swansea, St. George's and St. Andrews. They're the five. There is also Cardiff. However, I believe they have a feeder stream whereby you need to be part of their undergraduate program and feed into it, as far as I'm aware. So those schools will all take the GAMSAT as part of their criteria. And if you're thinking about applying to any of those, it is worth considering the GAMSAT. A couple of other points. Firstly, as I mentioned before, can you retake this? Yes, you can sit this exam as many times as you like. And that is really, really important. And one of the benefits of considering a GAMSAT school. Unlike the UCAT that you can sit once a year, this is an exam that you can prepare for and prepare for and take multiple times. And you can certainly improve once you get your techniques right. And some of the other videos you'll find with Medic Mind will definitely clear some of those things up and help you get better at this exam. Secondly, with this exam being so long, it often takes a six or seven hour day. It's a long, long haul. However, that often deters some students. So what I would say is that if you are consider considering this exam, do realize that Yes, it's a big commitment, but that is also, I guess, something to consider when you're going to medicine. It's a huge commitment, but if you commit to this exam, not everyone is gonna to wanna to take an eight hour exam and it gives you a great chance of getting into medical school. Guys, that wraps up this video. I really hope that this information has been helpful. This is a general overview and gives you the ideas and important information that you need to know if you're considering this exam. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And if there's any other GAMSA videos that you really wanna see, do let us know in the comments. Until next time, best of luck with the GAMSA study and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to unlock the rest of this GAMSAT course, which includes over a thousand GAMSAT questions, 20 hours of GAMSAT tutorials, and hundreds of essay plans, click the link in the description below.